another reason why you don't want to overreact so early in the season is because we're still learning who teams are. And after week one, we certainly thought the Cowboys were a team that could come out and play all three phases and hit you in the mouth and have you wondering if you're even worthy of playing on the same field as them. That's what happened last week in Cleveland. And then they go home to Dallas, where they've won 16 regular season games in a row, to take on a Saints team that 40 burgered Carolina, and a lot of people just shrugging their shoulders going, okay, that's Carolina. They were worse than the league last year for a reason. And then the New Orleans Saints showed up like the uh, uh, Green Bay Packers of the wild card and just hit the Cowboys in the mouth repeatedly. And the defense couldn't stop him. And Alvin Kamara comes out dude, <laughs> like the Alvin Kamara of old. And look at Derek Carr slinging it around. Look at Derek Carr feeling all good about himself again. And look at the Saints with Clint Kubiak with the page turned officially from the Sean Payton era. New offensive coordinator, new plan, new Orleans. 2-0. Look at the New Orleans Saints Amazing. out there in the uh, bayou just hanging out all summer long. We had Tyron Matthew come on and basically said, well, actually, we're in Southern California here uh, for, for uh, much of training camp, coming on and saying, uh, hey, don't forget about us. And the Saints come on out in all phases, looked like the Cowboys of last week. And turned the Cowboys into the Browns last week. And the quarterback-wide receiver combination that Jerry said, we're going all in on, we're not signing until the very last minute, and he dropped a combined $94 million per on him. <laughs> that offense didn't even crack 20. And the Cowboys have now lost their last two games at AT&T Stadium by a combined score of 92-51. to 51. It looked non-competitive. Looked like this thing was over right from jump. The Saints scored a touchdown on their first five drives of the game. <laughs> Six drives a game. Pardon me. And uh, with Kamara scoring four touchdowns and Carr accounting for three, they have back-to-back -back 40 burgers for the first time in a, in a season since 2018. The 91 points they've scored right now are tied for the fourth most in the first two games in the history of the National Football League. And the last time a team started a season with two games in which they scored 44 or more points and won them both, the 2009 Saints. Remember what they did? They won it all. How about that? They're just the fifth team to ever do that, to start a season with back-to-back -back wins, scoring 44 or more points in the game. And they're the last two teams to do it. Derek Carr is feeling himself. He's a guy who was sent home for Christmas by Josh McDaniels. This is a guy who winds up in New Orleans and last year under the Pete Carmichael reign, which is the last throws of the Sean Payton era, he looked lost. Not anymore. Derek Carr in New Orleans, baby. Hit it. I promised our team and I promised our city I would do anything, everything in my power. And now it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, I, I was going to do everything in my power, exhaust everything that I could even begin to imagine to try and just be better this year. And so far, we've started off good. As a uh, famous fellow... Bayou member. Bam. Bam. They Bam. kicked it up a notch. <laughs> Have they ever? That's funny. And guess what? Let's take a look at the Saints schedule. Uh oh. Yeah. Because next up for them is a slobber knocker <laughs> in the dome. The okay, Philadelphia man. Eagles might be equally 2 0 coming in next week. That's be and a good one. oh, baby. It's a short week for Philadelphia. A.J. Brown's not playing tonight. We'll see what happens with him. And guess what, man? Is that an early window game? 
I don't know if they're going to switch it around that or not. Be, that should be flexed to Sunday night. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Sunday night's already settled with Kansas City in Atlanta. That's one game. NBC getting Kansas City. They are not swapping out of that. <laughs> this game's going to be so much better than that one. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Philadelphia at New Orleans. That's just plain old one Eastern on Fox, uh, which means, um, you know, they're going to be waking up early there. and <laughs> A lot of swing oil. For the folks in New Orleans there. Then they're, then, they're, then they're at Atlanta, at Kansas City on a Monday night, home for Tampa. Proof's going to be coming out in the pudding here, but these are fun games. If the Saints are flying around. Defensively, Cam Jordan and Ty Math Tyron Matthew just laid some people out yesterday. Ooh. They came into Dallas on Sunday with intentions. And... We have a new clubhouse leader of the worst take I've heard in this show in quite some time. There's still time. It's, First off, it was me. on a overreaction show. And? Now you sound like a YouTube commenter. Right? <laughs> I'm trying desperately to now you bury sound like the a fact YouTube that the Miami Heat should not have traded for Giannis and Tedekumpo, which is truly the worst take in the soon-to-be 10-year history of this show, and it was mine. Maya culpa. But Spencer Rattler starting for this team by Halloween <laughs> and Dennis Allen's gonna be the first coach fired. That yeah. one is the agent poorly. On an overreaction show. Okay, very good. Thank you. I'm allowed to say whatever I want. It's like all due respect. That's true. It is in all due respect. <laughs> it's a safe space. Yeah, it's it's safe. like a roast. It's a, space. It's a like, roast in a way. I got it. Come on. <laughs> but man, oh man, the Saints are just gonna be must see watch fun if this where they're playing. Their defense is always good, right? It the, is. Always. The Saints defense is always they good. They are a prideful bunch. Demario Man. Davis, they are a prideful, Cam prideful Jordan, bunch. But the way that offense was rolling yesterday, I mean, speed. You can't teach Raheem it. Shaheed. And they got a lot of it. Man. And Kamara, 15 guys, scoring drives and 15 possessions. Yeah. And Kamara, remember two years ago, I told you, I, I didn't want to draft him in fantasy. I, like, I think he's washed. Yep. He, the last two seasons, not washed. he is not washed. Not at all. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.